Welcome to this video. We've already tested a Google Gemini 2.5 for coding. You can watch that video. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And to be honest with you, it's pretty good. It's almost on par with Sonnet 3.7, okay? But it's, I think, 10,000 times cheaper or infinitely cheaper because one is free and one costs money. Let's just say 10,000 times cheaper. Um, so overall, on the kind of price versus power debate that, you know, is so important to LLMs, it seems that it has the power and it has the price, right? So th this, this goes back to what I was talking about in the last few videos. If something is not as good as Sonnet 3.7, but it's cheaper, most people would rather use Sonnet 3.7, right? Because they're not bothered about saving money, they want to save time. However, if something is almost as good as 3.7 and infinitely cheaper, then that's when we start to say, oh, okay, maybe it's worth using. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, um, I'm, I'm going to put this to the test by putting uh, one of my prompts that I use for Harbor. It's not quite the Harbor prompt. By the way, Harbor is my SaaS. If you want to write uh, SEO content and get SEO keywords without any effort, and you want to grow a website without any experience, then definitely check out harborseo.ai. If you want to work with us um, in, in the prompt, I'll just show you the prompt now. So it's called Random Prompt. It's a prompt that a lot of people still use to this day. I bet someone's on here. Okay, no one's on here. Um, if you want to work with us, there's links to work with us at the top of the description here. So this is a pretty basic prompt. Um, it, it's been worked on for a few months now. Um, and basically all you do, you go to file, uh, make a copy, right? And then once you've made a copy, you find a keyword. So in this case, I've got how to style a Neapolitan suit for business. And then you put your internal links and your images in. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we'll go to my sitemap here and my internal links are gonna be my collections, my product categories, right? So I go to my collection sitemap, control A, control C. The cool thing about this prompt is you don't have to worry about the fact that there's loads of crap there, right? So you just highlight the first part where it says internal links, and then you scroll all the way down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, until you see the closing internal links XML tag, control shift V, and this should paste in. Just give it a second, there we go. Um, why was that so big? Oh, of course, yeah, I added um, hundreds of collections. That's why I completely forgot about that. Okay, so, and then we go to a collection with images, right? So in this case, it's an article about suits. So we go to the suit article, right? Uh, there is a woman's suit, unfortunately, but that's fine. And then we can drag like that. Control C to copy, then we go to paste to markdown. Grab this, control V to paste, control A, control C to copy. And then within image embeds, we go to the first XML tag, to the last XML tag, uh, shift click, control shift V to paste, control A, C to select everything, control C to copy, right? And then we're just gonna whack this into this uh, prompt right here. And we'll see how it does, right? So we tested it yesterday for coding. I'm very curious to see how it does for writing, right? So let's just see. So it's thinking, okay, key takeaways, introduction, heading one, heading two, heading three. These are all fine. Heading four. It's got really good internal links here already. Um, constraint checklist comes at higher us. Uh, what? This is, this needs to be, holy crap, that's 47 checklists jesus uh okay this is getting kind of weird but we'll see we'll see very curious to see how this works this looks like a very good plan overall i'm pretty happy with the the plan so how to style a neapolitan super business here's the quick rundown fit is king shirt choice uh we've got grenade uh grenades we've got um internal links that's why i said grenade grenadine okay weird uh, we've got images. Yeah, I mean, this is literally perfect, right? So the only thing that we need to see is whether or not this is considered AI generated or not. But overall, this is a very, very good example of an article. It has very good internal links, right? 
shoes, Santoni. This is one of the only mistakes that I've seen. Uh, it's not really a mistake though, it's just it decided to uh, talk about footwear and there were no images. So we can very easily just replace this with a Santoni image, that's not a problem. Overall, this has done an absolutely amazing job, right? So we'll edit this, Control A, Control C. Now we go to Markdown to HTML, Control A, Control V, right? And then we'll just delete the outline here. So if you just give me two seconds, just delete the outline. So we need to check a few things. Number one, images, are they correct? Yes. Are they clickable? Yes. Really good internal links. You can just see how many internal links there actually are. Um, I mean, overall, this is this has done a phenom phenomenal job, as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So a couple of things we need to check is how long is the article. So we'll go to docs.new here. Control V to paste. Seven pages is normally about 1,800 words. Holy shit, it's 3,000 words. Damn. That is a definite pass. One of the best that I've seen. 3,000 words is crazy. Uh, and then the other one is uh, originality. It will not pass this. I, I can almost guarantee it will not pass this. Unfortunately for me, I have grandfathered credits for some reason. I don't even remember ever buying this. Um, I also will say I don't care about this personally. It's just so many people care about whether something is AI generated or not that it's become part of my routine. I personally don't check this. I personally don't care. I'd rather just post and get on with it. But, you know, it, it is what it is. People care about this stuff for some reason. I'll tell you right now, this will be 100% AI generated. You can just tell by just looking at it. We shall see, though. We shall see. I'd be very surprised if this wasn't 100% AI generated. Now the other one is, uh, is it GPT-0? Yeah, GPT-0.me. Apparently this one is nowhere near as good, which is fine, I understand. Um, but let's just do a quick test anyway. Oh God, I hate this shit. Where's the skip button? I would probably bet a thousand euros that uh, originality will show this is AI generated. Let's see what GPT-0 says. It's probably going to be AI generated as well. Like I said, I don't care about this stuff. You can find the prompt and everything in the description of this video. Hey, look, someone actually came onto the prompt. <laughs> so people do, do still use this prompt. Oh, okay. This is pretty good. Um, I mean, overall, the GPT-0 is very easy to pass, to be honest with you. But 47% probability AI generated. This one was unable to load. But yeah, you can see this is, you know, this is pretty damn good for, for you know, a five minute process of getting your internal links, getting your um, images, and then just instantly going to generate the article, right? And, you know, it can pass GPT-0 at 47% probability AI generated, which is good. Produces 3,000 words, perfect SEO, perfect internal links, perfect, um, you know, HTML structure or uh, content structure. As suspected, it's 100% likely AI. However, this is actually not bad at all. This is 81%, 82%. This is, with a few changes, you could probably get this to pass GPT-0. That's not what this video is about, though. Um, the video, the, the, this video is just about the writing prompt and um, whether or not Gemini 2.5 is good for SEO writing. 3,000 words, good internal links, good images, followed the prompt well. It's got some really nice detail here, like super 110s to super 130s, which is that little bit extra spice that you normally need to rank on Google, plus the 3,000 words, which again is a bit more spice to rank on Google. It's got a really nice summary at the very top. It's got good structure. It's got good, you know, it's, it's got um, italic. It's got bold. It's got internal links, it's got con conversational style. Honestly, I'm very, very impressed by this. I'm not just saying that, you know, because I'm making a video. I'm saying that because this is actually very good. I would say this is potentially better than Sonic 3.7 in terms of content writing. To be honest with you, I've always really liked Gemini for content writing. It seems to follow prompts a lot better. I'll leave the video there, guys. That's the end of this one. There's probably going to be another 15 videos today knowing the rate of AI right now. Find everything in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you are without a doubt an absolute legend and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.